Hi everyone, this is Anson from AntsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you a great app called Skitch. It's owned by the people over at Evernote and it allows you to quickly mark up photos and screenshots so you can point out what's important in that photo. Normally I would use a program like GIMP or Photoshop to do this but Photoshop and GIMP have so many bells and whistles that sometimes it might take longer to mark up a photo and then export it because you're using such an advanced program whereas Skitch is tailored specifically for image markup. It's available for Windows, for Mac, for iOS, and for Android. I'm on a Mac computer right now so I just went ahead and went into the App Store and you can just search for Skitch and you can find this app in the App Store and it's free. So you can go ahead and click get to install the app. And then once the app has finished installing, you can just click open and it will go ahead and open up on your computer. I'm going to close out the app store for now, now that we have Skitch open. So this is what it looks like. It's very simple. This is the pretty much the only screen that you're going to use in Skitch. And really where you start off in this app is up here at the top because you need to import some kind of image. Now you can take a full screen screenshot. You can take a, a selected part of your screen in a screenshot. You can do a, a timed screenshot. You can take a picture from your camera or you can open a file. So you don't have to take a screenshot. You could have a picture that you imported from your camera or your phone and you could open it up here in Skitch to mark it up. But for now, let's go ahead and let's just do a full screen screenshot. So it uh, went ahead and it took a picture of my screen. Notice that when it does that, it shrinks the, the Skitch app so that I'm not taking a screenshot of the app itself. I'm taking a screenshot of whatever is behind the app. So now we see on my screen here, we have a screenshot of my desktop. And over here on the left, I have all of my markup tools. So the first one is simply an arrow. So we can click on the arrow. Um, I would like to note that you can change the color down here at the bottom simply by clicking on this little radio dial and you can choose whatever color you want. Uh, but with the arrow selected, we can go ahead and we can click and drag to point to a particular part of our screen. So I could, you know, uh, point to this. And then I could go ahead and click on the A over here to add some text. So I could say this is the logo. Now the box icon over here on the left allows us to add shapes to our sketch image. So when I click on this, you can see that I have a few different shape options. So I can choose a, a rectangle, a rectangle with rounded edges, an ellipse, or a line. So I could go ahead and I could take this rounded rectangle and I could just draw wherever I want. Uh, in my photo. You notice when I'm finished drawing, I can uh, click right on it to move it around. I can cl click and drag on the borders to change the size of it. Um, so, you know, I could even, let's say, move this over here. I could highlight the AntsonAlex.com part of the logo. Now, the fourth tool over here on the left is the marker tool, which allows us to just kind of mark um, a certain part of the image. So uh, I can just click and drag, and you can see just kind of like a marker. And then the other option when we click on it is the highlight tool. So this can be used to highlight text. As you can see, it's just uh, got a little more opacity than the first line that I drew up here. So that is the marker tool. The next one is the stamp tool. So these are kind of like mini arrows. And if you click on it, you can uh, see that you have the options to do, you know, an X, an exclamation point, a question mark, a check mark. Um, so, you know, I could click on the approved check mark and I could just put it next to the logo here. I could move that around so I could say, you know, the logo is approved. It's got a check mark. However you want to use that. The next tool available for us on the left is the basically the blur. They call it pixelate here in Sketch, but it's basically the blur tool. So if you had a face uh, in an image or something that you didn't want other people to see, you could, um, it's click and drag, I believe. Yep, so you can see a little bit of lag there, but uh, if I click and drag basically a box, it will blur that section of the image that I'm working in. Then over here, uh, the very last tool is the crop tool. So um, we could crop an image here in Sketch. Let's say I just want the colored part of my logo. I could go ahead and I could crop it down to that and click apply up here at the top right. And all my work is gone because I've now cropped out all of the stuff that I've added to this Sketch. But that's okay. We could obviously do uh, Command Z or Control Z to undo that crop if we wanted to as well. Um, we already looked at the color tool down here at the bottom and then the last one is the size tool. This basically just, if we click on some of these options, like if we were to click on uh, the line tool, this will allow us to change the thickness of the line. So we can do a, a thicker line or we can click on this tool to do a thinner line. 
Uh, so you can see this is a really quick way to mark up photos to use, like I said earlier in a presentation. Um, once you're finished, you can click on the share button up here at the top right. Um, so you can share it via mail, you know, messages, Twitter, Facebook. Um, it does interface with Evernote uh, because it's owned by Evernote. So if you sign into your Evernote account up here at the top left, you could then send this photo directly into Evernote, or we could simply go up here to the top and we could go to export and we could export this image in whichever format we'd like. We can give it whatever name we'd like and we can just save it on our desktop or in our documents folder. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is a great free tool, especially if you're in the media industry or you're doing a lot of presentations. If you found the video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more technology tips and tutorials. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.